Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Little Tummy and I'm your host Meenka. Today I plan to make something in paneer. Yes, I'm adding coconut to my paneer this time and giving a little bit of South Indian touch. So come join me for this coconut paneer curry recipe. So now for the curry masala, we are dry roasting some of the sukha masalas in the pan. I've heated a pan and I've not added any oil to it. Let's start dropping all the dry ingredients. This is almost two to three tablespoons of peanuts. Just keep the flame on medium and let's start stirring it in the meantime. Now we add some dhania, almost two tablespoons of dhania, half a tablespoon or almost half a teaspoon of soft, five to seven long, two to three cardamom pots, one small piece of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of methi dana. Now these are the dry ingredients. Let's roast them for almost half a minute on medium flame till they start to crackle. Now till this is happening, I have placed one more pan on the gas and I have added almost two to three tablespoons of mustard oil. Let it heat up and come to a temperature. Then we'll start making the bread paste. Once it starts to roast, let me add the sarsodana to it and we'll roast it equally. Now this has started to crackle. So at this point of time, I'm adding half a cup of desiccated coconut. You can use fresh coconut instead and we almost roast it for another 15 to 20 seconds as soon as it starts getting a little brown and then this is the final thing that we do before making the paste. So let's just quickly roast it till it changes its color for 10 to 15 seconds. So this color has changed to light brown. We don't want more burning color. So switch off the flame and remove it from your gas for it to just cool down and then we make a paste out of it. So let's start adding the wet ingredient stuff in another pan by the time the dry ingredients get a little cooler. So I've used the mustard seeds, let it crackle and then we add curry patta. some slick green chilies so another thing that goes inside is almost a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste mix them well now we add almost two finely chopped onions and give it a stir to cook it on medium flame for a few minutes so it becomes a little translucent. Okay, my dry ingredients are almost cool now. So I'll add a little bit of things that goes inside this grinding jar. I've added almost one chopped onion, seven to eight pots of garlic, an inch of ginger, some sukha masalas, this is the dhania powder, the jeera powder and the turmeric. This goes inside. Next goes the Kashmiri lal mirch, almost half a teaspoon. If you've already added green chilli, I think it will be more spicier if you add more of mirch. And then almost half a tablespoon of salt. Everything goes inside along with the grinding solution. I'm using a curd this time. Add almost one to two tablespoon of curd. If you don't have curd, you can add water for making that fine paste. Now let's grind it. Now let's just grind it into a paste. Now let's see how this paste has come out to be. 
it's a very fine paste if you can see all the masalas have been grounded well now we can keep it and concentrate now on the gravy portion that's on the other pan my onions have become a little translucent and gained a good color now this point of time i'll drop my cubed cottage cheese into the pan and we just lightly brown it to give it a good color the color of the paneer has changed nice beautiful brown color now quickly add the masala that we have made in our mixi just put all of it let's just mix the mala masalas very carefully the paneer should not break into pieces now we add some water for the gravy just clean the grinder where well. the masalas are sticking to it i've added enough water for the gravy it will thicken if we cook it for almost 10 to 15 minutes now we add little bit of salt already added in the dry curry check your salt content in the gravy now once it starts boiling i'll cover it with a lid and cook it for almost 10 to 15 minutes so that the paneer as well as the gravy cooks well with each other so it has started to boil i'll just put it on medium flame and cook for almost 10 minutes i know the curry will thicken very soon it's already cooked but 10 minutes are enough It's been 10 minutes now. Let's just check out the curry. And it looks like the curry has thickened well with the coconut. Let's now close the flame and take it out in a bowl. Let's pour the gravy the sabji in the bowl. My sabji is in the bowl now. Now top it up with some coriander leaves as a garnish. Looks good and your paneer coconut curry is ready so your coconut paneer recipe is ready transfer to bowl looks like more like a restaurant style curry all cooked with your spices and flavors at home do try this recipe at home and if you like it please subscribe to my channel like and comment and for future recipes your little tummy is always waiting for new meals do wait Until then have a nice day bye bye and thank you